Welcome back. Con Kentucky Blood Center is a community-based nonprofit organization providing life-saving blood products to Kentucky hospitals since 1968. And here to talk with us today is Eric is Eric Lindsay, the Director of Media and Branding. Thank you so much for coming in today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. So explain, you know, this month and why it's important. Yeah, so we're, we're celebrating National Blood Donor Month at KBC mm -hmm. and, and nationwide. Um, you know, blood donation is a, is a constant everyday need. It's, you know, 365 days a year. We need mm -hmm. folks to come in and donate blood. But, you know, January is kind of a just a, a brighter spotlight on this constant need. Mm -hmm. um, and also a chance to celebrate our donors, our loyal donors who come in and save lives every day. Um, we want a chance to this month to say thank you, but also to bring awareness to folks who maybe have been on the fence about donating, you know, bring awareness mm -hmm. to something that, again, we need every single day. Um, about 65% of Americans are eligible to donate, but only 3% do. And, you know, as we oh. start a new year, it's something that we want to bring awareness to and hopefully see people get in the door a little bit more because, mm -hmm. you know, quite frankly, since the pandemic, we just haven't returned to the ki kind of donor frequency we need to supply our 70 plus hospitals. Why do you think those numbers are so low? It, the, the pandemic, like everything else, you know, really, really, really affected our industry, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with businesses getting shut down, weren't able to get into schools, you know, people just fell out of the habit. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen some modest improvements over the past couple years, but just not to what we were pre-2020. So, you know, this is a great month, National Blood Donor Month, to kind of get it back on the forefront of people's minds. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, you know, if you were somebody that donated before or fell out of the habit, maybe you get back on the habit. Or if somebody you never thought about donating before, this can bring awareness to it and hopefully get you to try it for the first time. What should folks know if they do want to donate or are thinking about it? I, I, the first thing I tell you is just how easy it is. You know, I'm okay. a big believer that people want to give back and help their mm -hmm. community, especially as we start a new year. You know, I love that this month kind of coincides with the start of a new year. And if, if you're one of those people that wants to give back but don't know quite how to do it, mm -hmm. the thing that I would I would encourage folks to think about is this something that doesn't cost any money to do. So it doesn't matter mm -hmm. what your background is. All it takes is about 45 minutes from the time you walk in our doors to the time you leave. The blood donation part's only about 10 to 12 minutes. So if you want to give back, this is something really easy to do. doesn't cost a lot of money. It's going to have a huge, huge impact on your community. And are there incentives for this month? Or? Absolutely. So we always have incentives. We try to do fun things okay. to kind of accommodate <laughs> everyone. But January is like what I think is our best incentive. We give okay. away a really popular hoodie. It's really high quality. Um, oh. this, this month, we're, we're leaning into our Live Local, Give Local. Um, it's on an oatmeal uh, polyester blend. Uh, that's going to be available through j January 20th. It's at all eight of our donor centers in any mobile location. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that last year, it was so popular that we ran out so early. So if you are oh. thinking about coming in and getting it, I would encourage you to not to wait until January 20th. Try to get in a little bit sooner to make sure you get your hands on one. Do you think the incentives really help in this regard, or I mean, I, I do. Yeah, it, it, there, it, there's different motivations for different people. You know, right. for some people, if if a shirt gets you to come in and donate or a hoodie, mm -hmm. hey, great, whatever it means. When we go to high school, sometimes kids, you know, they want to get a class. That's fine. Whatever it is that motivates mm -hmm. you we're fine with because we're confident if you try it for that first time, you realize it's not, you know, it's not as scary or not as hard as you thought. And when you get that text message a few days later, it says where your blood goes. I'm telling you, that it's hard to describe that feeling of knowing that you just helped save someone's life. So whatever it is that motivates you, we're fine with. We just are confident that it's, it's, it's going to be a good experience for you. Yeah, and where can folks, you know, donate? So we have, like mentioned, we have eight donor centers in six cities, two okay. here in Lexington. We've got okay. one over in the Beaumont Center in, in Andover. Oh, yeah. We also do about 2,000 mobile drives here. That's where we're going on our blood, a blood mobile or coming to a school or business okay. all throughout Kentucky. Um, if you're looking to a location that works best for you, I'd highly encourage folks to go to kybloodcenter.org. There's a mm -hmm. find a drive tab on there. You can find a mobile drive or visit one of our donor centers I mentioned. We're open Monday through Saturday. What made you want to get involved? Um, I wanted to do something to give back to a city that, that means a lot to me. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I think what I love about our organization is we are we are a community-focused, local base. You know, if you come and mm -hmm. donate with Kentucky Blood Center, your donation is staying in Kentucky to help um, you know someone in our community. So when you when you give blood, you know you're gonna it could be a, it could be impacting somebody in your family, a friend, you know your accountant, mm -hmm. your dentist. It's just giving back and helping someone in your community. I think that's what drew me in. Yeah, and you know you say it's a smooth process, so hopefully folks see this and. It, it really is. I can't. I can't stress if if you're. You know. Obviously, we know that mm -hmm. folks don't love getting stuck in the arm with a needle. It's not right. something that people seek out. Mm -hmm. It's a minor inconvenience, though, for something that has a major impact. And I, and I promise you, mm -hmm. it, it is. It is. Again, I don't want to. I don't want to downplay people's fears, but I can promise you, it's a much easier experience than people think. Yeah. And say, so, uh, what's one more way folks can you know learn more? 
Uh, I, I'd, I'd always encourage you to kybloodcenter.org in mm -hmm. addition to be able to find mobile drives and donor centers if you're, okay. you know, you're, if you want to know more about the process. If you're, if you're unsure if you're eligible, if you're unsure if a medication you're on or mm -hmm. prior medical condition you had, um, we have a lot of education materials on there. You can also give us a call at 800-775-2522. Okay. We'd be happy to answer any questions. And then if you do decide to come in and you're still unsure, I can guarantee you're going to work with a fantastic phlebotomist. They're going to make you feel it's safe mm -hmm. and comfortable during the donation process. All right. Well, thank you so much, Eric, for coming in. Yeah. Hopefully folks go and donate, especially yeah. here in January. Yeah. Get a cool hoodie. We'd love to have you come out. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back with your headlines.